<laughs> if you get excited, your breath gets disturbed. So all this disturbance keeps taking place. Okay, and if your breathing is disturbed, then the whole body, you know, is affected by it. So it is also necessary to regulate your breathing, to balance your breathing. So there are many exercises, you know, to do, you know, regulate your, you know, breathing. Uh, in continuation to Sar's uh, question, this is just my suggestion uh, without uh, clear understanding. If uh, in this kind of workshop, every day at least, uh, if you can include one hour of practice on this pranayam kind of thing, I think to me it uh, will be more beneficial. But at the same time, uh, what I have observed is uh, everything you are teaching, uh, you are trying to be more universal. So it might uh, become, uh, I mean, uh, because of different uh, practices uh, here and there, it might uh, uh, not be uh, uh, practical also, but from my own perspective, I think it will be more beneficial if such kind of practice, at least one or party, could be included in your workshops. Yeah. In fact, as I said, you know, yes, uh, you could do that. But then, you know, this, for example, this issue of medicine and treatment, right? giving some idea about the commonly used, you know, home medicine, okay, would also be a nice idea, you know, because many of the people now don't have this idea. Right? I remember when my mother was there, right, we hardly used to go to the hospital. If there is any problem in the, you know, family regarding health, she will have some prescription, right? You know, and she will have all that, you know, as part of this, you know, spices which are used, okay? And some, you know, herbal plants and all this. And everything was okay. The doctor is to come once in a six months. Did the doctor come, it's a big event. Okay? Today, right? The doctor is coming almost every day. He has a family <laughs> doctor, right? And, I mean, in my family, brother's uh, family, you know. So, it has become a common phenomenon. So, if the, the director, the, if the doctor does not come, it is an event. <laughs> <laughs> Just in one generation. Why? This commonly used <coughs> medicines, you know, which are there a part of the you know, home, this thing. It's no more there. So, lot of this, you know, work can be done on this medicine part. So, this must be included in this workshop. In fact, in fact do, do you sometimes include them and talk about this, depending upon the kind of people there are. And similarly, sometimes we include this asana and pranayam thing. And also, we include this, like in this, you know, higher level workshop that we do, we try to make sure that at least everybody who is participating in the workshop is, you know, working with the rest of nature for two hours, right? So that, that is also essential. So all these things, you know, you slowly see, will have to be, you know, brought to practice. So all these, you know, kind of classes connected to this would be useful. So why I ask mainly is this, uh, you are having the material of Walking up and down, so a lot of exercise you are doing, and we are sitting in one place. <laughs> <laughs> so, not of jealousy, but <laughs> I am trying to understand the difficulty faced by everybody. Uh, not able to stretch, and uh, I'm, frankly, me, I'm not a, I'm not used to sitting like this for. <laughs> that is why we give half an hour break every time. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, many of these things, you know, we, uh, depending on the audience, we try to expand on some of these issues. So, some of the workshops we have been, you know, having this uh, asana and pranayam session in the morning from 6 to 7. But then, you know, it's not practical. Yeah, no, no. It, it, you know, 
then there are people who can just you know, spend time in remote setting days and there are people who are willing to learn. Then we just give it option. Similarly, this issue of medicine, you know, some of the workshops we you know, take this up in more detail. Okay, I think we'll continue with this and tomorrow I will take up this remaining two and then come up the whole thing. I don't know. It's coming out Today we are going to give you this uh, feedback form, a self-evaluation form, actually, not feedback form, self-evaluation form. On the last day, you will have your sharing of your self-evaluation, self-reflection. But we are giving this form very early. Most of the workshops we give it on the seventh day. But what sometimes we find is that people don't have sufficient amount of time to think about, you know, what are the questions. So this time for experiment we are trying out. <laughs> so uh, these are what you know, several important things that draw your attention to those. First one is short note indicating interest and commitment to value education activities before coming to this workshop. Which may write about you know uh, your interest before coming to the workshop. Second part is about what you were thinking about earlier and what you are thinking about now. Thoughts before and thoughts after. Similarly, behavior and work before and after. And also, realization before and after. We have not talked about realization yet, but that is included, what you realize through this workshop. That would happen once you are doing your self-evaluation, understanding something, and on the basis of that, you know, realizing something, which becomes part of you. So realization before the workshop and realization after the workshop. Then issues that I could explore within myself in the workshop. Issues that I could understand in the workshop. This is some of the things that you are focused on. For example, there was, there was some uh, thing that was very important for you. Health might have been important for you, or family relationship might have been important for you. <coughs> so like that, issues that you could explore within yourself, and issues that you could understand through the workshop. Then evaluation of my preconditions in the workshop. Some of the things that were governing your thoughts earlier. So you may have had the opportunity to you know, reevaluate your preconditions. So you can write that. Then there is a section for questions and doubts that still are there. Then there is a section for commitment. Commitment to work for value education after the workshop. My plans to implement the content of the workshop in the course and your teaching. Evaluation of this course at the level of family, organization, society in nature. That is what is the importance of this course at your individual level, at the family <coughs> level, at the organization level, at all these levels? What is the possibility that you see for yourself at all of these levels? And then feedback and suggestions. And then you can share the names of some people who you think would benefit from the workshop and like that. So this. If this is not enough paper, then you can add some more. It would be very important, this is very important for us. That's why we are trying to do this experiment. So, uh, you go through the questions. If you need more paper, please add more paper to this. And uh, you know, write down your, your self-evaluation. And uh, uh, it will 
take this from you on the eighth day. And if you happen to misplace this paper, then we'll give you more on seventh day, so don't worry about it. <laughs> but try to keep it. Okay? Each of this paper is coming from three. <laughs> please try to keep it. So that is one announcement. The other announcement is about the group discussion. We'll have group discussion as uh, we had yesterday. And uh, today we can focus on uh, you know, understanding of society and what is the role of family in society. <coughs> so society is made up of what? Well, it's not something outside the family. It's a group of families that make the society. So you can discuss about family and society <coughs> in your group discussion. And try to focus on the uh, understanding that you have with you know, all the discussion. Uh, many times we get tend to get into two types of things. One is about implementation, how will we implement it and uh, those kind of questions. We can discuss those on the seventh day, but they are important. But if we have the whole set of issues, then we can discuss that in, you know, in a very wholesome way. So try to avoid that if possible. And second thing is we tend to get into you know, problems. This is a problem with this and all that. And then it takes the attention away from you know, all the things that have been discussed. So if it is possible, try to focus on the family and society in the group discussion today.